brilliant session guest uh, Rosie playing big favourite on the show and she was in session just the other week although she was uh, supporting her label mate and friend James Yorkston when he popped by to see us we're very excited to have her on her own well not on her own she's got a whole band with it we've even got a baby with them adorable nine week old little baby who's just woken up will the baby be playing an instrument I hope so if not, then we have to we have to get him involved somehow. We have to get that little du- little dude or lady dude. I don't know, little dude, little dude. Uh, oh, he's gone back over. Oh, but everybody, be really quiet. There's a baby in the house and a live session next. Shh, Rosie Blake, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot. Who's that baby? That baby is Shuki Jim. She was <laughs> Rachel and H's new baby boy. Congratulations, nine weeks, guys. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> So Rachel Dad, obviously, uh, we played you on the show before. And it, it, fabulous news. Well, listen, yeah, welcome. <laughs> I expected you to bring an all-star band. <laughs> Didn't expect a gorgeous baby as well. So welcome, one and all. <laughs> um, now, last time, was the last time you were in, you were um, in support of uh, your label mate and friend, James Yorkston. Yes. Were you doing a few gigs with him and, and how did that um, go? No, I did just one with him at Rough Trade, but I was, yeah, I was just doing a few things with him when he was... A couple of bits and bobs. Yeah, down here. But doing his last record. Yeah, yeah. We can hear that you've got a little bit of a... Yes, a little, little bit of an horse. old husk <laughs> there. It's just going to add to proceedings yeah, today, though. I think it'll, yeah. be, it'll be part of the charm. Um, so can you tell me about the band, then, since you were part of James's lineup? Obviously, we've got Rachel here, who would be a familiar yes. name to uh, many of the listeners. Tell me who else is in the mix. So, OK, here session. we go, going around the circle. Rachel Dad. Um, of the band, Rachel Dad. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> it's ironic because now she's a mum, so I'm, I'm sure people have made that mom, joke. Dad. Yeah. Uh, dad, mum, dad. Mom. Um, and then, so, and then we have Jamie Harrison on the guitar, who is of the band, Jamie Harrison. <laughs> and um, he, born in Coventry, lives in Bristol, part-time proofreader. <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving along to Sam Lewis on the bass guitar. Um, who is a band called Being There and, um, and has got a bass he borrowed from his friend. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> it's a nice kind of... Uh, so is that, would that like a Rickenbacker style bass, would we say? Looks a uh, bit, it looks a bit like early McCartney-ish to me, the shape of it, like a little cello. Yeah, it's very McCartney-esque. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty thing. And, um, and then Eichi Shimasaki, who is um, of the band Itchy, who is, um, and he, yeah, makes all his own instruments and is an amazing sort of one-man band performance artist. It's awesome. totally incredible. And he's on their steel drum or pan today, whatever you like to say. Okay, so it's steel <laughs> drum or pan, it can be called either. Well, some people say steel pan, some people say steel drum. That's interesting. The only thing I know about the steel drum is that it was the only acoustic instrument in- invented in the 20th century. Oh, wow. Which is pretty cool, isn't it? Then they had the hang this this century. It's the only one I know about so far. I'm sure someone will like tweet in about the the acoustic yeah. bass or something. But I try, I try not to think about those. <laughs> uh, okay, so Rose, what are you going to play for us today? Um, so we're going to play Cold Tap. Take it away.
Royalty playing live on BBC Six Music. Playing the single from the album, that's uh, Cold Tap. The album's joined, sometimes unjoined. Came out back in October, right? Yes. Okay. And it's your second one, but the first time that you'd um, worked in a studio, is that right? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. did you find it? Um, yeah, it? Yeah, it was really great going there. Um, it was quite a sort of learning curve. Like, um, I sort of... I could have been a bit more prepared. <laughs> I was, but so we sort of added quite a bit more stuff afterwards. Okay, but um, but yeah, but it was really great to go there. And you did it in the same place that um, PJ Harvey does a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, a place called Toy Box Studio in Bristol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like this amazing sort of, um, sort of what are they called? Vaults archway. Right. Yeah, lots of vaults. Vaulty. <laughs> yeah, vaulty. <laughs> but yeah, by a guy recorded by a guy called Ali Chan. And did it convert you to the kind of... Uh, obviously, you added stuff after presumably mm. at home, but did, did it convert you to the, the non-DIY experience? That... Um, well, in some ways, yes, and in some ways, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Um, I think... Because I, so, I sort of... Um, I, like, change sort of band members a lot, so, um, so I think maybe it's, it's really good to go to a studio if you're, like, a totally... If you're a band... That, plays together all the time all the time and but sort of it changes quite a lot how I play so I play with different people okay. in different places so um so um well no that doesn't make any or I don't know if that I think it does make sense I mean yeah. like, uh, well in, in, in it uh, makes me want to ask you about about this being your second album mm -hmm. then if you kind of have a quite a you know collective sort of approach to yeah. music and you work on other people's stuff and mm. you've collaborated with a lot of different people and and you know vice versa you kind of have a fluid uh, membership of your band does that mean that this feels like a second album like the kind of classic second album because i also know that some of the songs on it are a little bit older aren't they yeah do you have a kind of uh, a similarly fluid approach to your own music your actual songwriting and, and making stuff um well i want like yeah i mean I, I wanted it to be sort of all my friends playing on it and that happened but I yeah I wanted because you know that's that's how it's that's how it's all happening is just people who are around playing on it so I wanted to go with them and like Rachel and H you both played on it and um I feel like I'm I'm not answering your question very well, getting the wrong end of the... That's all right. You can answer it in any way that you well, feel. Take, um, it, take it wherever you want to take on, it. A fluid play. approach to songwriting. What do you... What do you what well, do you what I mean is that you've got... So you've got the kind of, uh, a, you know, like you say, a, a bit of a movable feast when it comes to the yeah. band. You collaborate yeah. with other people's stuff. And I know that it's not like you're kind of writing f from album to album. So you release an album yeah. and then you kind of write the next one. Do you kind of... Do, uh, you know, is, is there less of a plan? Is it not structured in that way? Um, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I think I sort of, that album was sort of, it was, I don't think I sat down and wrote that album. Right. It was, it was definitely sort of gathered from, from, well, yeah, some of the songs were quite old. I saw, um, so, 
but um but some of them were quite new as well and I and that was that was really good because I did write a few things for it and I and I went to record them for it and that was that was a that was a good challenge but like but yeah I do sort of just like write all the time really just like bits of stuff what, when what, I can what informs your songwriting because you know as a listener it can some of it can sound quite abstract some of the ideas and the yeah. you know the lyrics yeah I think um I think it's it's often um I just I like sort of quite literal stuff like so I think it sounds abstract but it's um it is literally about a cold tap but it is literally <laughs> about a cold tap <laughs> um or some yeah. humans. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, yeah, you've got it. It goes no deeper. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that's true. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what are we going to hear next? We're coming back to you in about 15 minutes' time. Are you going to do humans? Um, humans, yes. Okay, brilliant. Well, for now, thank you very much, Rosie Blaine, sounding absolutely beautiful. Thank you. We'll be back with you shortly. See you Have a lem sip. We'll see you when you get tea. BBC Six Music. I'm back in the live room with Rosie Plain, just talking about your uh, live plans over the next few weeks, because you've done quite a lot of touring this year. Yeah. Quite a lot of playing, which, I mean, you do generally, obviously. Yeah. But a uh, couple more shows coming up. I thought the Bristol one might be quite yeah, exciting. Yeah, so um, in Colston Hall too, <laughs> not, not, not the big bit. But um, yeah, um, and that's with Mike Heron and some a couple of other bands. And the um, yeah, 14th of December in... Brighton, this place called The Haunt for this um, club night organised by British Sea Power called Cranken House and then um, the 23rd of December um, with This Is The Kit at the Lexington. Oh, that'll be a bit special. Is that yeah. going to be very Christmassy? That 23rd? Mm-hmm. How can it not? How can it not, exactly. Do you favour a little bit of... Have you ever dabbled in a Christmas cover? Would you? Um, I have. I have dabbed. Go on, tell me more. Uh, well, <laughs> Which uh, one was it? Once. No, I had to make up a song. Rachel, do you remember that compilation that we had to do? It was yeah, called, yeah. like... Yeah, what was your song? My song was called Ho oh, No No. <laughs> <laughs> it was about... Was it hip-hop? No, it was about finding something out about Father Christmas that I can't say on the... <gasps> Frosty radio. Plain. Frosty Plain. That was oh, my, brilliant. That was my, so you'll embrace it, you'll go with it for the 23rd. That should be a good one at the yeah. Lexington. Um, and you have, so that's, I mean, Bristol obviously is a, is a hometown show because you lived yeah. in Bristol for a long time, but you're in London now, so. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm, well, I'm sort have of Have you just, gone back? No, I haven't. I've sort of gone nowhere. I'm, I'm just like on tour at the moment because okay. I'm, I but yeah, but sort of, in a way I'm in London. <laughs> when you are anywhere, when you're static, you're yeah. in London a bit more. Yeah. Um, and how are you finding it? I mean, you, I, I was reading an interview with you uh, on the internet earlier today and you were saying that um, you'd found the London music scene quite different. I mean, obviously on a practical level, mm. uh, it was kind of easier to be a musician in Bristol in some ways. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if it's easy. It's just a different thing. But it's, yeah, I've, re- I've loved being in London. It's like... It's like an exciting place to be. It sort of keeps you on your toes. Sure. But Bristol is excellent to be a musician in as well. There's lots of people around. You can borrow an amp (laughs) more easily than here. (laughs) Was was, uh, growing up there, was that kind of like an important reason that you came to music? Because I would have guessed you, as you were growing up, Bristol was kind of one of the coolest places in the country to come from. (laughs) I didn't grow up in Bristol. You didn't? No. Okay. So, um, but I grew up in Winchester. Um, which is, you know, lovely. Which is the other coolest place <laughs> yeah, in the, the country. Other, like second on my list, yes, was going to exactly. say. But you have a big brother, don't you? I who, have a who, big brother. Who makes, makes music? Yeah. 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 Was he, was he part of the reason that you started doing your own oh, stuff? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. He, um, like, I, I listened to a lot of stuff because of him. Like, he had, like, an amazing record collection. So, um... So yeah, and um, and then I started playing the guitar really because of him, because he did, and and he used to um, he used to run like an open mic night in Winchester, so we'd all go, and and that's where I met Rachel, Dad, because she went to art college in Winchester. Okay, and um, and then we all went to Bristol. You kind of decamped yes. to the closest the court place, <laughs> right? Um, and and so what about uh, leaving? Why did you decide to make the move to the big city then? Um, just um. Just because I wanted to sort of feel a bit freed up or something, like I not I, I think I felt like it'd be really hard to move, and I didn't want to feel like it'd be hard to move, so I had to move. I didn't want to get too <laughs> but no, touch. but just like Bristol is so great, and I love it, and I really miss it, and um, 
but I thought maybe I could sort of stay there forever and I thought I'd try not staying there forever but you know it would be very nice if I stayed there forever as well that would be a very good option <laughs> okay I'm sure everyone's happy with that answer um, <laughs> and what about uh, the next record in the future you know so I was asking about what obviously you don't you know it seems like you kind of come to things yeah. as they happen a little bit but what is the plan is there a plan well yeah I'm gonna What's in start it? recording again in January because yeah because this record took a little while to get finished so um so I've got quite a lot of new stuff and um and I'm gonna start recording in January I'm gonna do some in France with Francois from Francois and the Alps Mountains. Mountains oh brilliant yeah. that'd be good yeah <laughs> anywhere in particular in France um in Bordeaux I think mm-hmm. yeah I can imagine you in <laughs> I can have an awesome time make a really good record and uh, and thank you very much for joining us to talk about the current really good record which is out now joined sometimes unjoined are we mm. going to have another track off it please while you play uh, yes it's called Humans brilliant oh I'll just undo the tuna there we go <laughs> Last night we crossed the road We were being followed Over and there Holding out for another Emptied and ready this time Arriving on Humans be working, humans be at work. Humans be working, humans be at work. One, two, three, go. playing live on BBC Six Music. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having us. Lovely to see you again. Have fun in Bordeaux. Merry Christmas in the meantime. Congrats on the baby, Rachel. Come back soon. <laughs> Come back soon. It's been great. Um, Rosie playing the, the record's really good. If you haven't got it yet, sort it out.